Welcome back to the Platinum Wave. Today we got another electrifying MMA matchup. Who would win in a fight between the heavyweight powerhouse, Francis Ngonu, and the rising star, Tom Aspinall. Grab your popcorn and let's break down their fighting style, strengths, and weaknesses. Let's start with the predator himself, Francis Ngonu, known for his jaw-dropping knockout power. Ngonu has a striking accuracy that's hard to match. With a record of 17 wins, 12 by knockout, his punches can end a fight in a split second. Ngonu's style is predominantly stand-up. He relies on his powerful boxing and devastating overhands. His strength is a double-edged sword. While he can finish fights quickly, his grappling skills have been questioned, particularly against elite wrestlers. Strengths, knockout power, one of the hardest hitters in the sport, experience, has faced top-level competition. Physicality, a massive frame coupled with explosive speed. Weaknesses, grappling defense, vulnerable if taken to the ground. Cardio, while improved, can be an issue in later rounds. Now, let's look at Tom Aspinall. This British fighter is known for his incredible versatility and technical skills. With a record of 12 wins, 9 by knockout, Aspinall combines striking with high-level grappling, making him a well-rounded threat. Aspinall excels in movement and has a fluid striking style, often using his kicks effectively. His ground game is solid, with a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, allowing him to control opponents on the mat. Strengths, versatility, can strike and grapple effectively, speed and agility, moves well for a heavyweight. Fight IQ, excellent at adapting mid-fight. Weaknesses, experience, less experience against top-tier heavyweights. Power, while he's a good striker, he may not hit as hard as Ngun. So, how do these two stack up against each other? Ngonu's power is a significant threat for Aspinall, especially in the early rounds. If Ngonu can keep the fight standing, he has a solid chance of landing that big shot. However, if Aspinall can utilize his speed and technical skills, he could frustrate Ngonu and look for takedowns. If the fight goes to the ground, Aspinall's grappling could neutralize Ngonu's striking power. In conclusion, this matchup is a classic striker versus grappler scenario. Ngonu uh, has the knockout power to end the fight quickly, while Aspinall has the strategy and skill set to possibly outmaneuver him. But if I had to pick a winner, I'd lean towards Francis Ngonu. His raw power, coupled with his experience against top-tier competition, gives him the edge. However, if Aspinall can survive the early onslaught and implement his game plan, he could pull off the upset. What do you think? Who would win in this epic clash? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exciting fight breakdowns on the Platinum Wave.